Welcome to this session of my video series. We shall continue with our discussion of functions in this chapter. You will learn about some of the finer things about functions. But let me first summarize what we have learned so far. Functions are a group of statements that can be executed by calling. Functions can accept input arguments and use them to do something for us. We also learned that each parameter has a data type. For example, a parameter called x could be of an int type. We also saw briefly that a function could return some data, or return nothing at all. There is a slight difference between the two. This is the code we have been discussing. We have used the terms parameters and arguments interchangeably but the two are slightly different. The variables used in the function definition are called parameters. So x and y are two parameters for this function. The variables passed to the function call are called arguments. In this case the identifiers M and N are called arguments. This is the difference that I wanted to clarify here. I am very sure that most programmers would be unaware of this subtle difference. A program in C is a stitched sequence of various functions. A C program is a series of function calls, like a relay race. One function does its work, and passes the control to another, and so on. A program can be compared to a car drive along a highway. This journey starts with the entry point main function. The drive along the highway is interrupted when an eating joint is met. The traveler takes his car off the highway and starts taking his food. After he has finished the food, he again begins traveling on the highway. The journey ends with the return statement. This interruption is a function call. The control or flow is transferred to a function. Once that function is completed, the flow resumes along the main function. The void keyword can be used to express a function that takes no parameters. In this code the function gx has been written in two ways. The function takes no parameters in both the definitions. In this case gx takes no parameters because none is specified. We can inspect this definition and conclude that gx takes no parameters. In this case no parameters have been specified. But the void keyword has been used to express this fact. Are these two different things, or are they just an alternate syntax for the same thing? Both these are exactly same in C++. 
you can leave the round brackets blank or use the void keyword. Meaning is exactly the same in both the cases. Both of them can be used to define a function that takes no parameters. C is older than C++. C is older and has various legacy syntaxes. These two syntaxes are surely different for C. I won't be able to go into all the details here. A return statement marks the end of the function code. The execution terminates immediately, and no other statement is executed. It is an abrupt end. In this code there is a return statement. Let's see what happens here. The function statements execute as usual till this return statement. But as soon as this return statement is met, the execution halts. The function is said to return. The control reaches back to the point where this function was called. These statements do not execute at all. Such a code is called unreachable code. This code is never reached, it is never executed. The return statement can be used to return a value also. This program illustrates such a use of the return statement. Let's see all the things one by one. This function takes two parameters and calculates their sum. Then it uses a return statement to return that sum. This statement returns the sum. This statement needs an explanation. Inside the main function we are calling our function and capturing the returned value. The value returned by the function is being stored in another variable called result. We can have a look at the various steps involved in this process. The argument m is being copied to x. and the argument n is being copied into y. The return value of this function is finally being stored into result. Thank you.